I think when you start to groan, it starts to move. So more groaning, please. <laughs> That's it! <laughs> In the empty valley, they built a giant, and they gave it the name of a giant in Greek mythology, Titan. Hey, how's it going everybody? Exit here, standing at the bottom of our elevator shaft in front of our original blast doors here at the Titan One Missile Complex. So today, on today's episode, we're basically gonna be taking you through our process of how we're gonna renovate these doors. There's a lot of rust that's built up over time. Also, basically I'm gonna be bringing you through what it took to actually get these doors open fully to the wall. Pat and crew had a hell of a time to be able to actually get these open, but now they fully go to the wall, which is a beautiful thing for us when we have to do metal removal or take things in and out of our actual complex. Here we go, check it out. Yeah, so these are the original blast walls over here. As you come down from the uh, access portal, the elevator shaft, the stairs, the six flights of stairs lead you all the way down to these blast doors. And you can see how thick this is. Look at that. That's literally the, the length of my arm over here. And here's the other door over here. This one is And the original manufacturer is Stearns Roger. A Denver outfit back in the day. So these doors haven't been, um, right now they've been seized up. So we need to basically open this up, free it up all the way back to the wall over here and be able to close the door once again too. The mechanism runs on a chain system over here. The chains come on. Yep. And that's the wheel that basically sets the chain in motion over here. Here's your chain, connect to the door. That's a pretty tight chain. Straight, straight. Okay, if that doesn't free it up, we're gonna, we're gonna use a 300 ton crane and MacGyver the shit out of this. Use that over here. These chains, what can they withstand pressure wise? Yeah, I mean, this is the strongest high capsule steel. Okay, you should do it. You should pull them. We just gotta pull it enough. We've just reset the chain with the binders. start to groan, it starts to move. So more groaning, please. <laughs> That's it! <laughs> I told you! I told you! <laughs> yes! Yes! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Very groan, very groanificating of you. Yeah, it was a perfect time. It was like the biggest grunt. It was like a fit yeah. flintstone grunt. <laughs> yes, sir. That's okay. Perfect. More of that, more of that. Give us some grunt, give us some grunt. Like you're like a V16 Bugatti Veyron, okay? There's some grunt in the pad. Okay, we originally the um, we've surpassed the width of the actual door now in movement, which is a good sign. Coming through. After past tug of war, now Nick can actually be able to showcase how these doors are working just like they used to be when this place was operational. <laughs> So now these doors are loosened up actually to be able to go to the wall. 
Now it's time that we take on full rust and decay that's been accumulating over all these years. By utilizing a pressure washer, we are able to remove all the chip paint and the remaining rust that is actually accumulated on the door. Now it's time to be able to take a grinder to it and really, really get the rust off.
play one if we shouldn't get a metal grinder in here and smooth it out. Smooth it out. Give it a shot. I don't have one here. Gotcha. And the end, that's good. Everything about these Titan One missile complexes are absolutely resilient, and these doors are no exception. We've done a lot to be able to actually start restoring it, but there's still a massive amount to do with the doors and throughout this whole complex. We'll just keep pushing.